speaking about um, depression, um, some myths and facts, and maybe some of my personal experience with it. I think it's only fair that I tell you guys that I am currently on medication for it and anxiety as well. And so I just think it's something that really needs to be looked at um, with respect and um, I don't want any mean comments in the comments. If you need help, I will leave some hotlines and stuff in the, um, in the description. I have had depression since I was 14 years old. I am now 22. Um, it's been a really hard journey for me personally. Um, for the past five years, I've been trying different medications, different talking therapies, and I've only recently found the right medication. Um, and sometimes it felt a bit hopeless. Um, but I'm on the right track now, and I think that's a, a good thing. Um, so I'm really happy that I am on the right track. And if you are suffering, um, make sure that you speak to your GP or your doctor, because a problem I had a lot was um, that I was being given medication after medication after medication and then I was told to give it a try and give it a chance even though I know it wasn't working. So I'd be on a medication for four months and I'd feel no different and they'd say well just give it a, give it a go. The fact is is that medication tends to work after, you, after about three weeks to a month so if it's not working by then it's probably not going to. Um, however, also you need to understand that medication is not the be all and end all. And I know that you hear that a lot from GPs and doctors, is that you need to exercise, you need to eat better, all of this sort of stuff. And again, that's not going to help fix everything. It's a combination of all of these things that will help. However, I remember at my lowest point, um, I couldn't even get out of bed and I just needed a medication to get out of bed um, and they were there saying eat healthier, exercise, get out more. I didn't even want to get out of my bed. How was I going to go outside? And I think that the, the ignorance of it is just so ridiculous um, and I think more needs to be done really into the understanding of it all. It's okay them saying these things to you but unless they don't know everybody's experience with it is different as i said at my lowest point i couldn't even get out of bed i was sleeping most of the day it was awful um and i was given medication and i could only just get out of bed on this medication i didn't want to eat i didn't want to do anything i didn't even want to watch tv i just sat there in my room doing nothing all day um and it was really hard um music wasn't making me feel better nothing made me feel better you know i had friends that would come around and see me um but i don't think that they fully understood how bad it was at the time so that was really hard people think that depression is um extreme sadness that is a massive myth um sadness is a common human emotion if um, your pet dies, you're going to feel sad. If somebody in your family dies, you're going to feel extremely sad. Um, probably for a while. Um, you know, it's it's not a nice thing to lose someone in the family. It's hard. Um, however, if you're sad for a long time, that's not depression. Sadness and depression are not the same thing. Something usually happens to trigger sadness. However, with depression, not necessarily anything happens. <laughs> that was nice to lighten the mood halfway through the video. Sorry about that. My brother really wanted some food and decided to not go the normal way and decided to come into the shop. However, it gave us a bit of a laugh halfway through such a serious subject. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, as I was saying, um, yeah, not something doesn't necessarily trigger depression. Um, it can creep up slowly or it can hit you all at once and it's sort of a rut like you sort of stay uh, in it until you get treatment whereas with sadness 
you sort of learn to deal with it. Um, like if your pet dies, eventually you'll either buy another pet or you'll kind of um, move on. Um, whereas with depression, you can't really move on unless you've got help. Um, and I can't stress that enough. Get help if you feel like you are or you think somebody is. So there's a lot of myths and stigma around depression, which is extremely irritating. It's not a real illness. That's a massive myth and another one that extremely irritates me. Um, people think that because you can't see it, it's not real. Um, or people say, get up and get over it, get over it, it's fine. Um, my question to those people, if you're watching, is um, if your friend broke their leg, would you tell them to just walk it off? No, you wouldn't. So what, why, why is it that because somebody is depressed, you think that they can just get up and get over it. Depression is a whole bunch of negative emotions. It's um, feeling numb sometimes, a lot of the time. It's uh, feeling nothing at all. Um, and then sometimes it's guilt, sometimes it's sadness. It's just a whole load of negative emotions. Um, low self-esteem, just lots, and it's awful. Um, so no, we can't just get up and get over it. So another myth is that treatment means drugs for life. Um, with this, everybody's different. Um, some people may well need drugs for life, that's true. Um, however, I think the GPs and physicians strive to not have you on drugs for life. So they'll maybe put you on some medication and then have you uh, do some talking therapy um, but it's tailored to you, so it depends what you need. Um, if you feel like something's working, that's great. If you feel like something's not working, you need to tell them because they don't know um, how you feel. And a lot of the time they'll probably argue and say that you'll feel better in a certain amount of time, but again, you'll know after the first month as to whether it's working or not and you need to fight back because I didn't and for the past five years I've been so low and I am finally on medication that is helping um so yeah fight fight for it because nobody wants to feel that shit for five years trust me it's crap get the point across that you aren't happy with the treatment or the medication that you're having and that you want to change it's a fact that depression can affect anyone. It's not discriminatory. It can affect any single person in this world. People say that talking about it makes it worse. I, for one, don't believe in that and it is a myth as well. Um, talking about it makes you feel better because you feel like you've got a weight off your chest. However, I understand that it's hard to talk about. Um, especially if you've got close people to you, you feel like a burden, you don't want to upset them. Um, and it's hard, but it's worth talking about because it does make you feel better. Even if you don't want to talk to your friends or your family, maybe you look at some online forums, um, anonymously uh, post on forums, start a blog. Suicide is selfish. That's a huge myth. To even contemplate suicide is unbelievable. Um, it's not nice at all thinking that you're going to leave this world um, because you can't see any other way out. Um, and to the people who, who say that suicide is selfish, again, if you're watching, you have never experienced that if you think it's selfish. Um, it is a very dark place and... It is not something that I would wish on my worst enemy. It is horrendous. And to say that it's selfish is just so ridiculous. People say that it's selfish because people leave kids behind and stuff like that. But can you imagine how bad that person must feel to leave those kids behind? It's not they're selfish for doing that. It's how much were they struggling for doing that. It's... They have obviously, they've not just done it on a whim, they've thought about it, they've contemplated it, they've thought about how they were going to do it, they've planned it. It's not just, I'm going to kill myself today. It's, I've been 
struggling for so long what about my kids what about this what about that and well maybe they'd be better off without me maybe if I leave this world they'll have a better chance it's not selfish um and for people to say that is just so disrespectful there's not enough help out there for people with mental health issues and I just think there needs to be more so that's it for today guys I think I've rambled on enough <laughs> I will leave some uh, helplines and uh, resources in the description. Um, so please check them out if you are um, feeling low or depressed or you are depressed or you're concerned about someone. Um, don't hesitate to check them out and um, I will see you next time.